don't remember the pain. I remember just the, the fun. I remember one night <laughs> shooting all friggin' night up on the side of the mountain. And Sassy. Equipment not wanting to work the proper way because of being cold and freezing up and then uh, getting a truck up the mountain and the bridge they built, they didn't, to get across this creek, they didn't uh, put the footers in properly and support it and when they went across, a uh, board snapped up and cut the brake cable. So all this you don't see on film, but all this is going on. Uh, and, and really I almost felt like we were a band of uh, gypsies out there at times. Um, but it was so fun, you know. I don't know that I've ever had another experience like making Dead Time Stories was, because it was like being a part of an ensemble, a part of a group, and what the lines were between when we were working on the film and when we were living our lives together were very unclear. And, um, anyone that came in and, and joined at that time, they, you were really joining something that was going on, a growing microcosm that was easily uh, took on the next thing it, it needed. And um, Jeff's eye for casting is impeccable. It always has been. He can see when I've been badly cast in something. He can see when something is really on the money for me. Um, He's been an invaluable friend to me over the years because of what he knows I don't know how about acting and the support that he can then lend. So with him as our leader, we were just in an actor's playground that I don't know I've ever experienced since that time.